Hello, my name is Julie and I'm going to teach you how to organize your drawers. Um, I just finished organizing my drawers in the kitchen and now I'm ready to take another challenge and to do it in my bathroom drawers. So let's take a look at them. Okay, so here we have my drawers. They are terrible. I have another drawer just mixed up everywhere. There's just so much junk and I try to organize them with a single box. Everything's a mess. Every time I try and find something in here, I can't find it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of these boards. These are poplar boards called hobby boards. I got them at Home Depot. And we're gonna take these and cut them into pieces and have dividers for our project. So what you need to do first is measure and figure out how wide it is. You have to clear out your whole drawer and then decide what you want in this drawer. So you take everything out and place it how you would like to see it in the drawer. Okay, so I measured everything and then I drew it out on a piece of paper. So I have the, this is the full length of the drawer. And so what I do is think, okay, what do I need this drawer for? So I separate what are my most important things that I need in the drawer. So one thing you need to remember is in the back, see how you can't really, um, like if you put a small little section in the back, you wouldn't really be able to get it out because it kind of goes deep. So I do longer sections at towards the back of the drawer so that way you can just slide it in and just slide it in. But if I had a little section like this in the back of the drawer, it would be hard to reach it. So um, based on my picture, I'm gonna do, cut it mostly in half, then the back of the drawer will have three dividers and then in the front of the drawer, I'll have the dividers going this way and then a half divider. Okay, so I measured the wood and I have the diagram with my bathroom drawers and I brought it downstairs just because I don't want to keep going up and down, up and down because you really want to dry fit it to make sure that it fits snug and because I don't want to glue it into my drawers. So I'm going to make these cuts and then we'll go from there. I did I cut all the pieces for the drawer and I actually reconfigured the bottom part um, but here is what I want it to end up like so you can see I just I'm dry fitting it nothing is glued and now I need to go back and sand the edges before I glue and also I'm gonna cut some little pieces um, at the back of the drawer to make sure that they're stabilized because I didn't put a frame around the drawer and I also didn't want to glue it into the drawer so um, in case I don't like it or I want to change it in the future. So I already took the pieces and I glued them together and I have two drawers that are exactly the same size so I had um, both of them cut the same so it was really simple to do two at the same time. Then when I was gluing it, I had it just in here dry fit. So that way when you're doing the pieces, um, you want to make sure that it fits exactly. Pull that out. This one in, make sure it fits. And then when I'm letting the pieces glue, I just, when I'm letting the pieces dry, I leave them in here so that um, they won't like get crooked or anything. Technically you should use like a uh, 90 degree angle to make sure that everything is um, straight and perpendicular. So now it's time to paint. Okay, when you start painting, 
You do not need to paint the back side because this is gonna be flush with the back of the drawer. So you'll never even see it. And also you will not need to paint the bottom unless you really wanted to, but the bottom you also won't ever be seen. So um, on these boards, they have these pesky little stickers and I peeled off most of them. Some of them didn't peel very well. Um, but again, if you do a two coats of the paint, it won't really matter because you won't, you won't even notice it. So I recommend doing two coats. So we'll do one coat first and then you don't even have to paint it. I know that some people have just done um, just the wood because they like the look of it. But since my drawers are white on the bottom, I thought it would be better if I did the um, white dividers. I just think it looks better. Okay, now that the paint is dry for a couple hours, I'm gonna sand it and then um, do a second coat of paint. So just lightly sand. And um, the reason I do that is because, again, some of my pieces were kind of rough. And when you paint, <clears throat> it, the first coat is always a little bit rough, so I like it. I want it to be a little more smooth, so just sand, get a little bit of sanding all the way around. Okay, I finished painting both of the um, inserts. And um, one thing I was gonna mention <clears throat> that you might wonder why is it not rectangular shape like the uh, drawer? And you can actually do that and it probably would make it easier to um, make everything perpendicular. But you would have to use like two extra pieces here and two extra pieces here and that'll just cost a little more money. Um, the wood that I bought for this is, um, it's two feet long, I believe, and it's $2.40. So the more wood you use, the more your project's gonna cost. So if you're just doing one drawer, it's not a big deal, but if you're gonna do multiple drawers like I plan to do, then it's not gonna be cost effective. Here's a picture I wanted to show you of an example of how I took the dividers and helped to organize all the utensils. Um, this drawer is my biggest drawer, so um, it was so messy that I just couldn't stand it anymore. And so this was my first drawer that I did the dividers in. Here is the video of the makeup drawer. And here's the other video of a makeup drawer. Well, here's the finished product and I'm glad that you guys came and watched. This is the best organizer yet and I have customized it for all the products that I need in my drawers. So everything has a place now and I'm never gonna lose anything.